Hello everyone. In this project, we would like to write a PLC program to control solvent levels in two containers as shown in the figure on the right, based on the following conditions. The solvent system in the figure consists of three valves, two motors, mixer and pump, and two start and stop push buttons. PLC program logic. Upon pressing start, material one and material two fill the large container for 15 and 20 seconds respectively. Then valves close. Mixer runs for 25 seconds. Out valve opens. Then pump for 35 seconds. Process repeats until a stop button is pressed. So upon the start of the process, the following steps should be taken. Step 1. Peeling stage. Q0 on for 15 seconds. T0 on for 15 seconds. Q1 on for 20 seconds. T1 on for 20 seconds. Step 2. Mixing stage. Q2 on for 25 seconds. T2 on for 25 seconds. Step 3. Dispensing step. Q3 on for 35 seconds. Q4 on for 35 seconds. T3 on for 35 seconds. Continue the process from step 1 unless the stop button is pressed. Let's now evaluate the performance of the implemented PLC control program together. All right. Notice that the program is in a stop mode right now. I go ahead and turn it on. This part shows that the program is being executed and the process is already started. A start button is already activated. I go ahead and turn it off. I stop the process. Right now, flow of the program is a stop. Let's go ahead and start the program execution. And notice that in the filling stage, this valve Q0 and also T0 are on, and also Q1 and T1 are on. Now, these two turn off and the mixing stage is working and notice that Q2 and also T2 are on or activated and this finished as well. Now we are at the dispensing stage. Notice that Q3 output valve and Q4 pump. Both of them are on and also timer T3 is on. So after 35 seconds, program loops back to the beginning and it starts from filling a stage, a fresh process. This is going to be 15 seconds and it stops and this stops here and it goes to mixing stage. And here also as I mentioned before T2 is on and Q2 is on here for 25 seconds. Now there we go. Goes back to pumping the solvent outside. 
again pump is on valve is on and timer t3 is on for 35 seconds so it was the one of the conditions that says as long as we have not uh, stopped the process is gonna continue so to test that condition of the program i go ahead and stop the process you see as soon as i stop it all the valves motors and timers are off and system is in off stage or shut down this plc control program is consisted of nine networks so when it starts timer t0 and timer t1 are gonna be active so i start it see these two timers are active to activate this timer and this timer t1 and t0 then it uh, starts a fresh mixing stage and therefore it turns on uh, Q2 and T2. Notice that when this uh, start is on and it stays on, T1 stays on twice, so it counts till 30 seconds. So I go ahead and stop it. And it started from beginning. Notice that T0, T1 are active. Q0 and Q1 are active. Now this turns off. This is going to continue. And now it turns off. Mixing process starts for 25 seconds. Notice that when the color of this dot becomes green, that means mixer motor is turned on or Q2 is on. Now mixer motor turns off and valve and pump turn on. Here, Valve is on and timer is on, timer T3 is on and pump is on, which is this one, Q4. Anytime it, we tap the stop button, everything shuts down. Okay, now when I start it, notice that these two timer T0 and T1 are on. Now the mixer is gonna turn on, so this T2 is gonna be active. See this. T2 is active right now. And then it's gonna go ahead and turn on pump and valve and T3. So this is that part, T3. T3 for 35 seconds.
as I mentioned before, this program is consisted of nine networks. I go ahead, shut down the program. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, take care.